really dropped anyone yet. <laughs> Obviously, no one has dropped yet, but this is a really good plane for, for everyone because yeah. you want a lot of possibilities. Talked to uh, Reciprocity a bit yesterday, and they said on Miramar, we're actually just going to drop out early because, and then see where everybody is, and then just take something that's free because that's very having early. that one minute extra in the beginning is really important to them. But uh, I'm expecting to see a lot of teams in Los Leones. Uh, obviously, before this, there has been a few teams going into uh, to Los Leones, but going through and up the other way north, I think it's going to be very open up north. With the plane in the middle, it's anyone's game. The key here is going to be fast, crisp rotations, getting out early. Reciprocity and the Los Leones teams have a little bit of an advantage as we start, yeah. but it's really going to come down to where does the circle drop and who puts their name in lights as this game gets underway. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. It's time to head over to the commentary team as Sims and Pansy bring us all the action. Thank you, guys, and what a group to start this off with, for us at least. We get Group B, which is literally the group of death. You, you have so many teams for, to pick from. So many could win this out early, and a lovely playing path to start us off here. Rich, I, I can't ask you, you know, who's going to be the team to walk away with this, because there's about six, seven you could all look at, but what will be the game changers for you? What's the win condition to separate all of these good teams? What's going to push that one to the top here? I think for me, more than anything, it, it it all depends where this first circle goes. And lo and behold, she's coming. And really move towards the northern edge. Because it's coming perpendicular to where the actual playing path went, which is pretty much across the center, it gives a lot of people time to get in there, really get stuck in, and be able to go to their normal like lo location, so to speak. Uh, Flag's yeah. already dead. That's a quick death, which is kind of what we expected to see coming into this again. It's a group of the death. Co Toffees has spoke mm. about it on many occasions, but more importantly, because it's a bit of a mixed bag, you've got Turkish teams in there, you've got CIS teams in there, you've got English, you've got UK, yeah. European, you've got so many different teams. <laughs> Necessarily, these aren't the teams that are going to be playing in the scrim servers, so you yeah. don't know where they're going to go. Absolutely, people will do their research. I mean, for instance, if we look towards where Reciprocity is gone and we look towards where Besiktas has gone, Reciprocity said we're getting straight out of the plane. Simple as that. We're, we're adaptive. We know where to go. They've done that. They're out. Besiktas, when we look back to GLL last week, they stuck to their normal position. They're going to keep mm -hmm. going to Impala and over and over again if the plane permits it. But you will get this mixed bag of fights where it can be very messy. Absolutely. And I was going to ask you now, if people don't watch, you know, your GLLs or your, your I guess, the, the online series, if you're looking for the big names, you know, your scooms, they already mentioned on the desk, which teams are we looking at here? Because there has been that roster shuffle that was kind of sparked into position after PGI. You know, I know there's so many fans of these teams out there and they want to watch their favorites. Which teams are now the big names kind of sitting in? I think if we have to pull some out of the bag, you'd have to go with the Sauna Boys, not necessarily a name that you might, or a brand that you would see yeah. out in the open, but one that's been playing at high level competitive PUBG for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Diamonds, obviously, in GL last week. The boys from CIS, they put up a damn good fight. Moonwolf, again, we saw them at PGI Leicester trying to qualify through that. Yep. Wreck, they set it on the desk. Scoom and the boys, I mean, we, we've got one on there, an ex-Phase player, an ex-Liquid player, someone mm -hmm. who did play, it filled in for, for Method. The, the, list, the list goes on. It's, it's such a, a god squad coming into this. But again, god squads don't always work, so this will be the, uh, the real tester for them. M19, again, mm -hmm. you heard Toppies and Avengers, they absolutely should be flying through this one. Accelerate had a very, very, very good event last week at GLL. We saw some big things coming out of them. Besiktas, the Diamond Dogs, if you are a yep. big fan of PUBG, a competitive, you will have known these guys. Definitely know their name, yeah. And then definitely at the end, it's uh, Andy Pyro, the man, the myth, the legend. Obviously, <laughs> Method adding two new players in the form of, uh, of Week. For example, Week, yep. you saw that massive... Big pickup. A huge pickup, to be honest yep. with you. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it's all pretty wild, and it's it's definitely the group yeah. that you need to keep your eye on. Well, this is what everyone was getting ready for. The roster shuffle was essentially getting you ready for these sort of moments. So the circle clicks in, bit of a northeast swing to it. 100%, uh, and again, compared to where it's been with that playing path, it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Your teams that are going to be dropping more towards the left-hand side, they'll have said, okay, well, maybe it's time to get his feet on the ground a bit further. Maybe they will have adjusted their, their flight path. and. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's what kind of is the, the best opportunity when it comes to Miramar. People whinge about the open areas, all right. It's it's totally different meta. It's a totally different place. I don't think it's a meta, meta to be honest with you. Yeah. But it's a it's a stupidly different play style compared to Erangel. Mm -hmm. But the, the bigger thing for this is that you can make things work that shouldn't. If you drop in the middle of nowhere in Erangel, you're going to be stuck for loot. You're going to be stuck for gear. This is so many like little individual compounds, yeah. stupid little houses, left, right, and center that you can get these. You Ooh. can get good gear. That's a that's tire. A tire. Tire gone. That's a spin out. They're gonna have to take the fight here. You can't walk away from it. And I think they know exactly what's happened here for the toxic players who lost out on that first player. 
They were the ones they who did. got a big loss to start with, so they need to be a little bit careful. They do at least have some advantage in the fact they have their teammate behind them not too far off, but the rest of Moonwolf are not leaving this one man alone. Uh, if I was on the side of Toxic now, I'd be getting ready for the oncoming slot and just preparing myself the for the rest of Moonwolf coming up. It's, it's cooked, but it's not gone high. And again, when you look towards Toxic, it, it kind of goes volumes of what I was saying before. They've managed to get guns by scrapping them together. I don't think I saw a helmet. Now, the support of Moonwolf, who arrived up on the ridge towards the kind of back lines of where we're looking at, already spotted out the support coming in for the Toxic player stuck on his own here. So the support system's falling apart. If Rezu feels confident, which I mean, it's a big risk to go for this, but if he does, he can take this fight and there's no support now in place. The Overwatch from Moonwolf has been great. They were very, very quick to respond here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Not quite watch the banks up the side. They know where he is. Um, th there is a bigger question to this. Is there any point in committing to this fight? Maybe Rezu, again, he's got a barrel up close and personal, 7-6-2. You're going to have a good time. You'll be able to at least take this fight if you want to. Oh, OK, so maybe they're also going to pull up into a compound. This is causing even more problems now for Toxic. They've lost one oh, player, no, they and the split rest between split two. completely. Andy's already found him. <laughs> yeah, Andy doesn't need two goes at this, and oh, Rezu's found his. Again. Toxic, I think, are down to one now. They've had yep. some real issues. The confirmed kill comes uh, out, so Moonwolf get their little slice of the pie, and as do Method, so picking up two kills. And it looked quite good almost for that Toxic player at the start. Pick up the tire, that's what you want, but Moonwolf so quick to turn on that. Did not leave a man behind, came screeching back around, and it looks like the kill feed continues. Yep, Krillin's gone. Unfortunately, that's, I want to say, that team have fallen victim to the first drop. You know, they're the ones that have gone to a place where yep. another team's there. They've been bullied. They've had someone batter straight off the spawn, and then they've kind of panicked and had to look for, for gear throughout. Yep. It, again, it is possible to find gear. I think these little compounds are the, the better side to Miramar. Mm -hmm. You can alternate, and you can change things up, and you can make it work. It's as simple as that. If you're an adaptive yep. team, where in PUBG, if you're not an adaptive team, you are going to get absolutely dumped on every single time. So you have to be open to the idea of, okay, let's switch things up, let's have a backup plan. Because, hell, you might have a plane that it's so disgusting, it just completely takes the northern edge. Yeah. And then you, you're out of luck for, you know, if you want to go mm -hmm. to Leones, for example, or a bit more further down south. So you have to have that adaptive level of play. Um, yeah, first game shenanigans, it always happens. You're always going to have a team that go. Good driving. Bumper cars. Right there, boys. And now you'll see the vehicles because it's rotation time. Yep, everyone on the way. We had a lot of people moving early. Very central, of course, on this circle. Not too surprising. You can't really blame anyone, just kind of fighting over compounds. But with all those vehicles on the way, they don't necessarily have to commit. So you'll see a lot of teams posturing. But uh, let's see where the last one's going in as well. Wreck, the team that a lot of people are looking at, taking their time. Not really swift on this one. They dropped early, so they should be looted up pretty nicely at this point. Oh. He's running his mate over. No, that's, that's not good. Is that what you want to see? No. Nah. Outside the caravan. Not holiday home, fam. It's not a great holiday, is it? It don't look like it. You can't take your missus to, to the shacks, can you, really? I'd probably get in the divorce if I took her there. Yeah, I was about to say. The yeah. tyres on the roof probably really wouldn't be a good... Hey, eat your mum fruit, dear. Food <laughs> one night. <laughs> Bit of free warm for you, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think Wreck are going to have a good time here with their rotation, obviously taking up that eastern bank. Everyone yeah. else, y you know, this is the thing about these players. They've been here for a while, so they understand comp play, especially when you've got someone like Scoob, who has really been at the top. I mean, Christ, the man came second at PGI. Nice. You, you can't really ask for much no. more than that. You'll be thinking to yourself, in theory, teams should start to move in, and that's why you'll get the split, and that's why you've seen, for example, now people take multiple vehicles. If, if Nuki gets shot, Joski will just say, nope, bye-bye, and just bail to the left or mm. right. So being split in vehicles is always a good thing if you're not going to lose a, a multitude of people, so to speak. Yep. I'll be, uh, I'll be impressed if Wreck push up any further and actually go for a compound. They don't really have to at this rate. And everyone's just wondering, where do we go? What do we do? Where do we find this compound? Where are people going to be? It's a decent circle. There's absolutely zero water. And you might just get a, a, a lap on the edge just from where Wreck is going to be coming in. But six more, eight times an SKS. Just watching people. Hot shots going. On by. I'm in a cannon here as well. So they've got some range on these lads. I certainly do. That eight times is always lovely. That's such a touch on Miramar. You know you're laughing when you get one of those. The four always feels so short when you get that. It's, we were speaking about this last week. This map is straight up all about range. You ain't, Absolutely. You ain't going to be crashing compounds like you are doing in Erringale. You just yep. It just doesn't happen. You're going to have snipers. You're going to have position. Generally speaking, you, you will see people going middle because that's generally how you like to play. You're banking your bets on where the circle's going to be. You're hoping yep. it's going to go more toward the center. But on Miramar, you've got to take fights at range. It's, it's a snipe fest. It really is. And it plays to the potential of some of these players. Don't get me wrong. You'll see some really come alive when they get those oh, rifles yeah. in hand, when they can get a bit of range to them. 
Looks pretty good. The last couple of teams could be working their way forward. I think we've got maybe one or two still out of the confirmed current circle, but they're, they're very close by. So it looks like for now, most teams are staying alive. It's, it's pretty well settled. No one's in a huge dangerous position. A couple of shots here and there, a couple of teams posturing, making sure the other team you know, is kept humble. Always nice to take a helmet off or two, but no one's having to overly commit yet. Of course, hard shifts will force that to happen down the line, but for now, we're all good. I'm looking forward to seeing if Bestelark from Red Diamonds can do what he did last week. I think mm -hmm. he was the number one damage dealer at GLL. Um, a lot of his teammates are saying, you know, he's he's a very, very good player. Mm. And he's been coming, not necessarily coming up through the ranks, but people have been making note online yeah, they of, take what, notice. of what he's been doing. Yeah. The kid is a freak when it comes to just <laughs> punching people at range. So it certainly one Red Diamonds are a team to keep an eye on and see how they do. They did, they did a good event last week. Didn't win, but still had a damn good event and they yep. brought a very good showing. Everyone is deciding to go center. There's not too many compounds smack bang in the middle of that. There's no real no. central city. You might get a swing. If it goes to the west, they're going to be laughing because you'll have San Martin, maybe potential to play off. If it does hard shift, you'll have Hacienda that you can go to. There's options. It's, it's not is. that bad. Yeah, as I said, it's still early. It's Miramar. There's a lot of room to be taken up. It's down the line that we start to see things starting to get a little bit more tricky and a little bit more interesting. Anyway, first circle about to confirm. We'll be looking at the next move, and it's going to okay. keep actually a lot of space available. That's yep. that's not bad. That's going to be a little bit tricky for the ones who dedicated southeast if they've lost vehicles, but most of them are safe. Most can head north and know that it should be sparse if they're fast. What I like is that teams are not... Oh, that's actually quite good. If you look... We, we, we did have the, the you'll, be, you'll be looking at this, but we can see on the circle, on the map, on the background, how things are coming up. Everybody has already moved into the cars. Everybody's already yeah. shifting and rotating. But now it comes down to a, a matter of who gets there first. Red Diamonds, even though they were in the circle, they've not rested. They've not said, no, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this. Ooh. Ooh, green machine. Give me a bit of that. There she is. In all her beautiful green glory, the AWM. Fights are abundance. Accelerate, unfortunately, caught off guard. Trifelli answers down. back, though. That's that's a nice pick, both of them side by side. Both Trifelli and Squeaky at the same time are not going to finish. That's pretty much uh, you poke me, boys. You know, poke the bear, get the claws. It's one of those. Moon, Moon will have to respect that. There's, there's nothing more they can do. And it looked like it was all theirs. Look at the positioning. Rustamar was in the middle of the road, limited amounts of what was going around him. Smoke goes up and his teammates are instantly there, but Trefelli's got a lovely little gun to make some work with. So you can see why yeah, they're a little bit more confident. It. That makes a little bit more sense. Groza pops up, which you have to think off the back of that. He's going to be rocking level three, up. three gear as well. So, And he was a player last week that really did impress and really kind of pissed a lot of teams off because he was one of these that was just sniping and causing so many knocks that team would collapse because they literally didn't have the No manpower. helmet, no vest, nothing, nothing to revive exactly. with. You're, you're done. You just bleed out just so swiftly. You know, just constantly poking mm. at the utility and taking it away from them. Uh, we might have an engagement coming off here as we do see the rotations coming through from Team Ready. One some team there. Controlled shots as well. Don't see vehicles with M19 right now, but they might have them just in the background. Moonwolf still have their players in position. I'm pretty sure that's the original compound they took from the other player that was stuck in there. So they've kind of, I guess, just settled at this point. They, they may not be able to move. They tried to maybe make a little bit of a play north, and they met Drifelli and co. So, I mean, they're maybe having to stick this one out. But a lot of the teams, as you said, are going on these longer rotates. Wrecker, one of them. They're heading very far northeast currently. They're very much on the move. But... A couple of shots on the later rotations as uh, the Sauna boys are locked in. They were one of the first teams to get to this northern side, splitting up on the 2-2 two -two split. Besiktas always taking a few shots as well. Just to confirm, the uh, the green machine is in play. So we do have an arm. You can just see it there. No, it's beautiful, oh. beautiful glory. Even with the three times who gives a damn, it's still an awesome freaking weapon. It's the only gun in the game that will smash a level three to bits and put you on your backside. Kind of obviously removes it, but doesn't quite knock you. This one will, so you don't want to get in the line of sight again. That's why you only get a limited amount of ammunition and only a limited amount of bullets. But you have to make every single one count. If you're a trash sniper, for Christ's sake, give it to, give your, it to your mate. Yeah, there's always that one person, and they go quiet when they pick it up, and you're like, "What have you found?" You've done seven bullets, but you haven't killed anybody. Why is this? <laughs> Ooh, Andy, 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 I know you got moves, but this is a little bit dangerous. Dip dodging, diving nope. around back towards a one tree of cover they've currently got. Not the best of spots here for Method. It's not a bad ditch if you're looking towards TC, who are over towards the other side of the little bit of a ridge they're next to, but there's eyes on Method. It's from afar, but... Ah, oh, that name. Hello, Senpai. Oh. You like it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, positive, negative effect of this for Method. They've got the vehicle in front. Even How if much ammo up. has he got? He's going to be sitting there for days. He's got to have a green AR, He's surely. dipping back to it as well. That's amazing. He's got like a separate pot, so he's just going to be there for years. Method are on the run. 
Now, th I like these the ridge lines having the roads, so it's a good thing of Miramar, but again, you have to be aware of the oncoming slot from, from a, and have your head on a swivel from a 360 degree angle. These vehicles, they are going to be losing them. The tires will be popped, they'll be gone, but they yeah. can use them for cover. They can take out the tires, make them down, blow them up so it doesn't take them with them. We saw that in Group A this morning. I think it was a vehicle explosion where the players are behind it. It wiped all four players out while they yeah. were healing. Again, just expect this on Miramar. A lot of rotations come through. Ooh, Odense. Odense, I think it's... it's Odense. Odense? There's no D. Okay. Odense. Pretend it's a TH. And they might be for now, as the engagement hasn't gone well for them. They've been trying to pick up on over the corner, but the trade comes in. So it's at least down to an even situation. And look at the aggression coming out from the other players on this side. I like that. Give themselves a chance on the revive. Get a couple of seconds of respite before the next onslaught could begin, if they go for it. It looks like that was a one-man hit, and it's not gone too well. Be able to get the res off at least while the rest of his teammates. And again, oh, oh, uh, uh, um, Ooh, PUBG. No, it's on fire. Run. Get out. Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only one bullet came through. Uh, Southeast-ish circle. Not too hard on the shift there. It's 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 kind of stayed around the center. If you look at the center mass, obviously it's method in there, TC. Uh, you've got a lot of teams still very much safe for now. The teams you aren't, the Swanner boys are going to have to move down slightly. Uh, Rek going to be on the move. We'll be crashing compound, Rich. Here we go, Besiktas going on the end trip. They need to make something happen. They came down the hill. They've had the warning shots, thankfully, where they hit the building where there's only one player in. So only a one amount of bullets, and now they've all banked up. The grenades will come out. You can see even the smokes to at least deny them a line of sight. The good thing for them is that team charge is a split, Lauren. They certainly are. Oh, two uh, upstairs. They're going to flush him? I'm not sure yet. He's still trying to hold on. I'm trying to get the... Position here. Ultra goes down, confirmed kill as well. He's, he's thirsting them as hard as he can. It looks like the rest of the team are on the way, but it might be too little, too late. They're going to lose out on one. And now, where are the rest? Where's the reply? Where's the nades? Where's anything at this point? It's a one for one trade. If he charges, though, do you get aggressive? Do you get really upset that you've lost a player? I'd personally just hold off for now. You're hearing all this 762 weaponry. Everyone looking for those barrels, for those AKM. 762, it punishes so hard. 49 and 47, depending on which gun you have. It's a bit of a damage drop off when you look at the 556, five, unless you've got a mini, which I believe Tomil does. Off screen still. Battles are all over the place. Keep your eye on that kill feed. Sims, he actually takes a bullet to the brain again. Another 762. That's with the SKS, so he gets DMR from very close distance. Pop shots, hoping to find Tomil. Said, I won't even bother poking out, mate. Just. It looks like there's a knock on, so I mean. If they're looking for a springboard point, it wouldn't be a bad idea to be doing this. Simsy is back up, of course. Uh, this is when you're just praying you had a nade, right? If you yeah. if you had enough time to push them off a peak, you get a knock, pop a nade in, you'd be laughing. But this could be one of those stalemates where no one wants to peek those corners. It looks like, again, GS are really struggling here. They've been taking knocks, a couple of individual kills, and Method could nice. third party this if they want it. But they don't have hard cover to play with. They've got this little bit of a dip here. Chris is out on his own, but this guy can snipe. He's got so much talent in this department, but does he want to join in on this? He knows he probably won't confirm that kill, if he, even if he does get the knock. I mean, we saw from TC, they were even throwing smoke grenades just to deny the line of sight, which suggests they didn't have any nades whatsoever. Tommel really wants to poke this guy. He kind of wants to just maybe force him out. There's potential here where you could use Tommel could be trying to bait him and someone else has an angle on him. I don't think they do from the angle. I'm just oh, seeing as well, made. team ready in the kill feed of... Taking a fair amount of damage. Wreck a split spread all over the place, to be honest with you. Hax is, that's a, that's a very wide spread. It really is. If one of them gets knocked here, they're dead. I don't really know. I mean, Shiv might be able to get Skoom up. Rafi would be a challenge all the way on their own. But again, when you look at Rafi and Hex, they are playing backup. They might be the emergency plan if, if the team gets wiped. I mean, they know that no one's coming from the northern side. They, I, I, I feel as though they can do this. They've Close kind of range. locked out. And they've got some nice weaponry to be playing with, too. So, I mean, they were late looting, early dropping, and they got that long rotate in. So, they're taking their time on this one. So, th in theory, just map knowledge-wise and control-wise on the northern side, as long as they don't over-peak and allow themselves to get knocked, if you know if they make mistakes, then they will get punished. But they're playing a game where they don't expect it. Sauna Boys could crunch, as you said. There's a couple of teams who could potentially get shots, but this is still like the bubbling point. This one could go off at any point. If someone engages, if someone gets knocked, you could see the other team push it, but that compound is still very hard to break open for either of those two teams there. If you are wondering, hell, 
Why are all these players rocking guns that I don't tend to see? Well, this is obviously a competitive environment. This is the competitive settings. ARs are at 1.5, sniper rifles are at 1.3, and DMRs are also at 1.3. So there is an increase in spawns, and that's when you look towards Rekt, for instance. You saw an SLR. You saw, I think it was a Can 98. You mm -hmm. saw the Mutant. The Mutant itself, it is an AR, but it does two tap at the range. The two taps. The two tap I at 200 meters it, is ridiculous. But, but I've been punished it's, by It's them. a short drop off, is 200 meters. Yeah. But still, if you can hit someone in the face, do doom. Like, it, it shreds. It absolutely shreds. Circle has just squeed into the center. Ims has unfortunately gone down. Cup of Magic finds him. Cup of Magic, another name that you, we've seen regular throughout various Are competitions. They going for something here? It looked like Simsy might have been moving around then. I'm wondering if he was maybe going to make a play, but it looks like the team on the other side were going for the one split throughout. And again, engagements everywhere now. M19, who've been doing quite nicely in the background, are in a bit of a pinch here, in a bit of trouble. That's I'm not sure nerd. who's going to get it, because I think that's the Orm, if I'm not mistaken. The player with the Orm is out there in the field. So yeah. I'm not sure if a third party might have just come in. I think Andy might have got some damage on towards that one. And M19 are in severe trouble. Yeah, both Wreck and Method have joined in this one. Red Diamonds, they're actually finding their CIS fellow players. Oh, no, you're done for. Moonwolf, just... they're racking up the kills here. We're down to Constantine. That's pretty much it. That He's trying bad. to find the one angle that's going to keep him safe, but look at all these surrounding areas. Luck might see the Orm is still in play, so that's still at least been Ooh, back up nade. on the board. The nade is good. Constantine's down, and that is a confirmed elimination. M19 in the scrim was looking quite nice, but from uh, hero to zero at this point, just surrounded on all fronts in an open field. You had nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Wick, though, just got knocked. You say looking good, Lauren. Freaking won it. 15 kills they got in the scrim before this match, and they're down in 15th place. That's a... <sighs> And F in the chat feels bad, man. I didn't quite see who went out in 16, but we have lost two teams. 45 individual players alive, so you're starting to see individuals falling left, right, and center. That's an M24 I'm seeing on Zoltz in the back line, mm -hmm. so. Ooh, Sauna be Boys might be careful. in for a bit of fun here. They are over. out of the circle. Oh, so that's, can, that's a good nade. Oh my god. That's a very. Oh, it just bounced off. <laughs> They are so lucky in the return aids. Look the at this traces. utility being... Oh! oh! A two for one. It's perfect. They've just taken down all of the range from the Sauna boys. This is big play coming Flank. in. And they're getting aggressive. Yeah, they want it. That is perfection. Pushing up on it. Just forcing Sauna boys to really sweat here. And it's down to one. That is such good pressure play. TXU might just have to back away from this. He might have to just accept their fate. Yeah, that's the confirmed kills on the others. What can you do here? It's rock and a hard play situation. You've got the Wreck Boys now paying attention. I think they might have just heard that bike pulling up potentially in range. I'm not sure, but they certainly heard those nades. That's scary. I mean, it's one of those moments where you see all the nades coming and it's like, oh Christ, what do I do? There's so many, there's nowhere to go. And then all of a sudden the fifth one just decides to hit you. Tixu has now definitely given away his position. If I was him, been a one-man band and 14 teams still up, I'd have just kind of hid for dear life because now the utility is where it becomes a problem. Your helmet's going to be damaged. You know, you, you, your versatility is going to be going down on the chest. Sorry, taking a bullet. Red Diamonds know exactly where he is. Bet between a rock and a hard place, yep. two teams in the blue. If he's not careful, that could be Ooh, 14th place cool, for you. <sighs> And a little bit of a bounce over it. That's that it. one's That's trickle it. forward, though. That could be... Oh, it's so good! How many two-for-one nades? That's going to confirm it. It gets one down. Higgy's there on his last legs. And Tixu just going to make a mad dash on the bike, doing anything he can to find some safety. Run. And he might just get a little bit of a... Oh, my gosh. Tixu hit the deck. He's down, but is he Dink. safe? Just about for a second. There could be an angle found here. Going to put up the smoke and just hold his breath. Chris, though, I think just got knocked again. I think that's his second time potentially, but there's a lot of teams now, 14 teams in quite a small circle. So you can see a lot of these knocks coming in now. He's on bandages as well, which suggests, I mean, he's got a stim on. A stim and one bandage. Look at this fight is still Nothing. here. Did they lose <laughs> another one? No, it's 3v3 still. This is it, 3v3. This they is, have the circle. Yeah, they're it. not moving. This is kind of There's that no gentleman's point. agreement of like, we'll shoot each other a little bit, but we're both safe, so shh, we're fine. <laughs> I did hear a couple of nades going off in the background yeah. from this fight as well, so that definitely says that there's absolutely no nades left on both sides. Red Diamond's mm. up at the top. I said, watch out for Bestalock. He got that two for one nade, and then they pushed on it. They allowed to do it. Moonwolf so picked good. up a couple of kills themselves. And then rest, you can see 16 points per kill is the current running. And we'll be playing this throughout the competition. And it scales from first place down to 16th when it comes to points. When you're looking at the placement, 400 points all the way up at the top. And zero, unfortunately, down at the bottom. So Ooh, Chris is done for. Oh, and he came over for the revive, but I think the angle still wasn't there to save him. 
And he's in trouble. The rest of Method are trying to find a bit of safety as well. Moonwolf will have to move in. Method just needs to stay alive until that circle hits and they become powerful. But those couple of seconds, you're like, please don't fight us. This is the wrong choice for all of us. Just let us live. And he's getting shots coming in from the western side. You're going to see Wick and uh, Minox there on the same position. Wick is fighting back, though. So that's the remainder of the Sauna Boys gone. That is the confirmed out in 14th. Big name down early. Yeah, Wick finds him. Confirms the kill, so that jumps them a placement as well. Hagsetta, you can see in the kill feed, finds one. That's the SLR and a bullet to the brain. The 762 doing the job. Same with Rustam Ma. Finds Edu with the little mini there, the green gun. It's only 556, five, but on the back of a DMR, it absolutely hits like a tank wreck. And now going to play the road. Now, I like this because they can set up either side of it and just kind of watch the gap. Ooh, no, oh, no, 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 he no, no, he's, he's, <laughs> he's balls dip. He knew, he knew, didn't he? He's like, no, God, I've made a mistake here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, it feels good. I've, I've missed this, you know? I've missed this. I think it feels bad for him. It's F one of those moments F like, chat, I'm going to spin around here chat, and try and do a, a 360 spin because I know what I've done. I've <laughs> broken my own legs. On it. Uh, 24 in play. Looking good. Punches him and polishes him. That's mm -hmm. blood, so that means he's dead. So they lose another one pin. Ooh. Corfest is the. Uh, he had the orm earlier. The cornfield snake. Oh, I should snake. just look. Oh, yeah, it's in him. Oh, look at this. This is the filth of snaking. He's got to get up and move, though. He knows it. There's only so much time you can spend doing this, and I think he's just hoping that he gets enough room where people don't expect him to still be in here. That Orm can still do work. No best. Indeed. So he's oh, he's hunting him, though. He's trying his best here. Going to try and stay away from the line of sight, dipping back into the blue slightly. He's right behind them all, and somehow... Vestalok has not seen this. It might be time to switch up here. The spray, he needs it to confirm. He does get the knock, but can he get the kill? He does get the kill, but now he gets tagged. He's done for. Pin turns, gets him down, and that's another confirmed team out. It's one of those questions, what do I do? Do I try and survive this, or do I at least take 16 points with me? So you scrape in the barrel. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. If you went up above the hill, Red Diamonds would have killed him. Now, he might have just opened this up for the rest, because taking Rich, out. it's time to get fun. The two teams who have not been moving in that one compound, have finally to have to move. And most importantly, Lauren, look who's directly in front of them. It's Wreck. This is three teams that are about to smash all into one another on this northern edge. Wreck, no. Look at that. They're overextending. They're not going for the circle. They're getting angles here so they can mop these kids up as they come out of these compounds. This is a great play from Wreck. They're going to get themselves in a position where they can be ready. Andy, he's down. He's dead. Method. Wick will answer back onto Squeaky, but it's the Red Diamonds who find them once again. Pin, he goes down for now. There's two of them, Sid and Senpai. Back to back, here comes the bullets, the bangs, the deaths. Down goes Tomil, as this fight is now a trade. flooding. Lux, Lux is back into it, they're not letting it go either way. Divine Arrow's gonna be on the move, he might get there first, he might have the angle first, mm. but Tomil's down, he's knocked, does he confirm? He's trying to, he does. Simsy tries to return, fire! And Simsy, great play from him, and the remaining teammate has watched this all go down with no angle, no way to provide help. He just sat pretty far back, maybe waiting on the circle, hoping that he'd be the last man alive, and he certainly is now. Watching all this go down, Lauren, is exactly what REC is doing. You've got Shiv, Hax, and Rafi. Scoom on the front lines to guide it all. As soon as the players come out of that building, they are they're dead. It's, it's as simple as that. There's three individuals, and more importantly, it's two placement jumps for every other team on this map. Wreck are going to get a good bit of ground coverage here. Again, we're into a point where it's up on a mountainside, so there's mm -hmm. dips, there's divots. Oh, wait. Does he? He, he knows. He sees, doesn't he? And Washout's the last man alive. That could be a one tap. Six times in a minute. It yeah, depends but what Red Diamonds could help him out. I don't, this is that awkward thing. As soon as he takes a shot, Red Diamonds could just like over peak and take him down as well. Take it, Wick. Oh, one. Not. No. 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 One shot's going to do it. Washout. How long? How is that not hitting him? Like, I know there's a little bit of a dip, but what? There we Thank go. you, Wick. Took your time. Yeah, but this, now, let's see if Red fine. Diamonds are going to try and overpeak that. They're, they're, they were getting a little aggressive on the peaks, and we he do see that last it. remaining player, Lux. Did get one, but one is not enough. The trade came through, the revival come in. Now, Wreck are moving up. Look at the zone control. I don't mean, like, the blue zone. I mean the map control that Wreck is showing here. Very well thought out. Really nice scouting from them. Beautiful positioning. I, I, I can't fault them the way they're playing. Good effort so far. I love it how Hex is just standing back and kind of been the uh, the guardsman to make sure no one's flying in. There's a big crunch though on this eastern side where I got one, two, three teams all engaged one another for the hangar control. Reddy's moved up and gone central. All of a sudden accelerate now, it's time to show their head. It's one of those where it's just a waiting game. Yep. Who's gonna take the first fight? Who's gonna be the first one to push in? 
I mean, there's essentially three placements there. Circle, it does go towards that angle. So the hangar, the back side of the hangar will stay in, and so will the little houses outside. That'll be prime territory going into the final few circles. It certainly will be. Looks so close, but staying alive. Next nade coming through. Fire comes in. Again, red diamonds racking up some bodies here. Not, not confirmed. You can see the nades, the smokes, every bit of utility they have being put to play. The shots are everywhere. Cup of magic. That's the fight with the Odin side that was about to kick off. It looks like at least one of the players gets confirmed killed, but the team's still alive. So there's still one man remaining. I think it was a two-man team. Simsy gets found by Rafi. That's the first time we've really seen Rek getting into this fight now. I like the fact, again, they're doing the same. They're not playing inside the white. They're moving outside. They're not quite in the blue. They are forcing one back. We can see this on another screen. We'll keep you updated. Scoom will get the confirmed onto Simsy. Only one more member of Bacictus. Rabbi's actually crossing the road and getting up close and personal. You can't see it, but we can. He's been punished for it. We can actually found him at range. He overextended. So that's a sneaky third party coming in. This is. Now we're going to be seeing the rest of Red Diamonds, I think, moving across. This could be Method racking up some more kills. Wick is there. That is Senpai going down. Is the follow-up kill going to come through, though? I think there's still one man alive for them, if I'm not mistaken. Ready to go. Yeah, indeed. They are still on them at the moment. So a couple of magic goes down. This is in the back lines. This is the fight again that was still continuing. And this is still going on here. He's not done just yet. This could be a huge bit of work from him. Finally goes down. Right. The team do hold on. We'll be seeing who's still alive. Method under fire. It looks like they're in trouble down to, I think, just Wick. You're on a slither of health. The foot shows and it's all they need. I'm pretty sure that is Method it confirmed is. done for. Now, they made a great go of things, though, pretty much putting on pressure from start to finish. We're down to four teams now, 13 players alive. Method at least stay alive to make it into the top five, but now, all of a sudden, it's time for Accelerate to show their worth. Six kills already in the bag. Four players, more importantly, Lauren, keeping so many players alive, going into the circle, just having the man advantage and having... The numbers really gives you an advantage in itself. More importantly, they're in a position where nobody else is. Shiv's being tanked up. It's time to get the heal off and get backed and topped up. Rafi did overextend just a little bit and got caught short because he got third party. There was no smoke wall there. Scoom now Ooh. from a different angle. And this becomes a problem because the position that they're in, there's three teams potentially who might have an angle on them. Yeah, Maverick gets caught though. Do we see the revive come through? I'm not sure what angle was given here. Rustin Ma, you can see him looking for it. And again, another spot comes in. Another call going to be made. The comms going to be coming out here. Everyone's got range, though, it seems like. A lot of these teams still have the car 98s up. You've got minis up six times, eight times, whatever you want. So there's still a lot of work here. It looks like the aggression's going to be coming through a little bit here. Gonna try and find an angle. And I think he's potentially found maybe a pixel he has. Turning, just exposing the foot there, confirms a kill. That's points for them. That could also open up an avenue of safety, which they desperately need. As you said, for Wreck, there's about three teams that are currently looking towards them. Look how one is just getting his teammate up and he just dies in front of him. It's like, well, I can't help you now, mate. Unfortunately, you're gone. Another foot shot is these players, if you give them a pixel, they will happily take full advantage and put a bullet into it. Rustin Mart himself shows his body a little bit too much. Squeaky's advanced forward and extended into the circle again, kind of playing the same game what Wreck were doing by sending mm -hmm. one forward and leaving the rest back. Scoom's also inside the circle in two individual players. It's kind of between two teams, though, all on this eastern side of the circle to get Ooh, in. Oh, that's big. Scoom going to find another. He, they're, they're creating avenues of approach for themselves. You can see how far Scoom's heading up towards this on his own. Shiv there, spots out another. Can he get the shot through? No, he doesn't want to overextend either. You don't want to overpeak this. They're going to try and work their way forward. It does look as though Wreck have found a little bit of a way in, but it looks like it could collapse anytime soon. And Ali gets spotted there. Got to be careful. Only level one up. I don't Next see a vest other. either. One t he's still alive in the smoke. He's just desperately holding on. Scoom gets knocked. So this is still very much game on here. It's a full smoke wall, though. They've, between them, I think these guys have put four down, so they're all advancing very, very slowly. You can hear that silence, 24 in the background, wanted, spots one, but between... We're down to three, Rich. Rock and a hard place, time to run. All of the team in green have got to run the gauntlet. One, two, four, back to back, simple as that. Finally, Accelerate, there's been a kink in the armor. Sean, Shiv, Hax, they're doing so much damage. The nades are going up and over. Oh, Hax gets caught nade. off guard. They can back up, they can put the smokes down here, but they need to be careful of the oncoming grenades. Now they know where the knock is. They know there's only a tiny gap between that knock and the back of the blue so they have to be somewhere. If anything, don't go for the other players, go for the current 16 go. points over extension here from Mikas. The drill comes in. Now there's only one alive. It's Scoom. It all comes down to him. And it's as simple as that. What a great play. Pushing up from where they were, peeling off from the rest of the team. Let the fights unfold. Get that one man into the circle, yep. which is exactly what they did. The peak was perfect. The lean was perfect. The coordination and the call out 
It's as simple as that. 400 points in the bag and a ton of kills. Absolutely. As soon as that knock came in with the nade, I love the push off the back of it, being confident. I feel as though maybe Rhett could have prepared themselves for that. I mean, again, it's hindsight's 2020, good positioning from them regardless, finishing in second. But the, I love that play. The amount of kills Trefelli got there as well. He was lighting it up from start to finish. It was a nuisance. When we watched him last week playing, it wasn't necessarily, he wasn't confirming the kill, so to speak, but mm. just constantly punishing people yep. with can anti eights and sniper rifles. I think the, the, the rather unfortunate thing the wreck was it was a battle on two fronts right yeah. you were looking at the western you look to your left you look to your right you had to fight two battles they picked up a few kills in the end and they also confirmed themselves second so it wasn't a complete disaster whatsoever the loss is that seconds always a damn good finish that's 330 points in the bag yeah. but again they had a, a fight on two battles and then to the final part they kind of were inside a little bit of a ball area we got mm -hmm. the blue on the back so if you're accelerating it's like well we know exactly literally yeah. exactly where to they are tee. because we've seen the bullets we've heard the noise yeah. let's just get stuck in and let's just finish it off simple as that so GG, good players. No, it was, it was excellent. I think for the first game of Group B, what a way to start this off as well. A couple of big names though falling early. We saw Moonwolf getting into early scraps, yeah. and they made it through quite far in the end. Method played well, but they were in constant fights as well. A lot of these teams were five. fighting their way through. No one was being quiet. We're not seeing passive games here. We're seeing teams taking fights, players taking fights, and I'm loving seeing it. I, I like seeing that as the first game. It's a really good starting point, it feels. It's a nice circle as well when you've got, obviously, a no war. You know, yeah. we, we, we kind of saw that, and it was a decent open amount of land. You had the... The more of the hills in the middle, you had the, the fight that was going on all mm. over towards the hangar. So there was still plenty of teams there. And when you can get in, it didn't just become a sniper fest. All right, there was definitely some picks at range. Yeah, you sort of took kind of like mid to late game. You started yeah. to see a couple of picks, but the ARs the came ARs. back in. Like it's, it felt like a really good balance coming out from Miramar. I think the circles, we didn't see too many hard shifts either. I think that was a really good start to this, uh, hopefully, Group B. I think more importantly for everyone, it gives a taste of how this group's going to go. So all the rest yeah. of the players now will be thinking, OK, we know the strengths, we know the weaknesses. We generally know the, the play style of how people more importantly, where people are going to tend to go. Yeah. Um, I think as well, I like the fact that we're not seeing people just dog it, completely dog it and bomb it to middle and run to center. Yeah. It's playing the edge, playing the work, you know, edging your bets. I still think that at the end, that, that final, to, to send one player off like that and not just sit back and hope mm. for the best, that kind of won in the game. Because if, if a snipe come through from Shiv at that point, gets the knock, changed it. they'll flip it around, they'll do it themselves. No, absolutely. There's, there was a lot to be seen. There was a lot of things that could have gone differently at the end. It felt like, you know, if, if one team got a couple of more knocks here or there, they could maybe sprung one off the back of that. Did anyone stand out to you who didn't perform or who did perform that you didn't expect? Because at the start, we said there's so many teams in the group of death that can do these sort of things. So it's, it's kind of just taking stock of what we saw. It is first game, so pinch of salt. But anyone stand out to you who looks like they're ready to get into this? I think... Stand out. I mean, definitely Trifelli with how many oh, kills he had, and we kind of saw it yeah. again. And we we're expecting to. I think M19 though. They but they bombed out what 14? Yeah, that's very surprising. They got caught in the open field. I'm pretty sure they wanted to got the double nade against three. them. I mean, that's that's a little surprising. I think maybe they came into it a little bit too hot. I don't know. I think that's going to be time to kind of sit back and think. Okay, what do we do about this one? How do we approach this? So I'm curious how they come back in game two. Yeah, uh, I think more importantly, the, the the thing is now look at where people are get your team together, have a quick chat and say, okay, let's adjust as drop, let's adjust as strategies, and let's get ready for game number two. But I believe we have an interview with the winners down on the floor. So Dave, over to you.